e is their email address or is their website address if you'd like to uh, find out more. Jedward are back. They're embarking on a mini tour taking in the Olympia Theatre on October the 24th, the TLT Concert Hall in Drogheda on the 26th and the Royal Theatre in Castlebar on the 27th. Jedward, good afternoon to you both. Great to be here um, to talk to you. That was a mouthful of... of, of that a was a mouthful, yeah. yeah. There was a lot of the talking. You're very clear, you're very clear. Your voice is like the most iconic voice on radio. So you know it's you. But Thank yeah, you. That, yeah, the reason why we're doing these three shows is to perform some of the new songs off... Her. They're more like album. a launch for like our album because we, we wrote our whole new album. It's our fourth album and we hope to have our album out by now but we're going to perform some of the new songs and material on concert. Because so we, we, we had a song called Free Spear and that was the first song that we just as a teaser for our fans and that was... The, um, the fans went crazy Yeah, but that. it was really well received. Like Graham Norton played it three times, Paulo Grady played it, so people that never played Jared BBC Radio 1 and BBC Radio 2 are playing it. So. Mm. And they we didn't like come it. off X Factor. Everyone's like, oh, we don't play Jedward. But now I think everyone's kind of ready to kind of play We've broken music. down those walls. You've broken down the wall of, wall of um, oh, there's Jedward bouncing on the walls. Jedward else to do all their well, own you've bouncing off the walls, so you've managed to break them down yeah. in a yeah. funny way. They're all broken. to climb yeah. over those walls, not bounce off them. Yeah, the walls are gone. Let's just forget the walls. Yeah. The, this album you wrote yourself? Yeah, yeah, we completely wrote it. We have a song called Silent Raindrop, a song called Feroz, a song called Karma, and they're all like, Go they all have a strong message behind them because we did music in school with your son, That's Sencha. right. Yeah, you say, yes, you did. So yeah. we really kind of understood like the progressions and how music Yeah, but I know like um, took our la- we had, we've had three albums that are written by us but I think we've had more time to kind of develop and actually write about stuff. So now we have stuff to talk about. Because our last albums wouldn't have been like stuff that we'd expect to win anything or anything so hopefully our next album people kind of respect and get it. How does it work? How does the, is there a process? It, it's always different. Like it, it's like trying to get a good, strong concept, and then you develop the concept. You, you gotta find stuff type, you, you can't write about the same stuff over and over again. It's like listening to the same, breathing the same books. People want to listen to new Chapters. terminology and not the same stuff all the time. Yeah, but to say one of you come up with a lyric, the other one comes up with the tune, or or it, do, do you both sit down at the same time? Well, and we do it on Logic and Pro Tools as well, and you just gotta. We gather all our, all the lyrics, and then we kind of make it all work mathematically, and then sometimes and make just make catchy. Just, just make like. Just the music. And then, like, it's all about syllables. Like, you gotta, go, you don't have to rhyme words. You can just rhyme the syllables, and then it makes a really good song. It's like songwriting's like a, writing poems. Mm. So it's like just trying to get really not not too not make it too rhymy, but just get words that the syllables work or it has the structure and write. And yeah, everything. but for me and John, we couldn't have um, one of these real. Um, pop, pop songs because when we do it everyone's like oh whatever so we have to try harder than everybody else to come up with a really kind of unique yeah, concept we always have to out 55 we of have our to, fans have a tattoo we always have to prove, prove yeah. ourselves no one gives us a, no one gives us a chance we always have to be like full on going for it don't we John yeah, yeah. It's all so, good. Uh, so have you? Uh, uh, do you have? W- w- uh, do you have a style? Would you? Would you say? You know? Yeah. What are you now? I think. I think the style of our new album. Um, it's more singer songwriter. It's more. Um, yeah. It's progressive house. You have. We have a bit of everything. We have four okay. different sounds of this album. So we have kind of like, kind of vibey, kind of like that type of vibe. And then we got like progressive songs, which which um, start off so simple and then build up to a massive bass drop. And then we have. Um, the ones we do at the moment are like kind of big room kind of where it kind of it's not like a progressive EDM it's where it builds up and then it goes into a kind of like a more kind of simpler bass drop and then we have songs they're not Eurovision songs yeah. yeah no but EDM it's like, like dance music like we're talking about, is, we're, yeah, yeah we're talking about serious stuff in the songs like yeah. we're not talking about like, like like hey let's throw our hands in the air and have a good time it's like so ma- to make a good dance song you have to talk about serious stuff so Ferocious which is the next single it's more like 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 it's I've like, been through struggles dodging nice dodging nice dodging nice dodging nice dodging some people in the world don't want to succeed I spotted your true colors. I saw through disguise. I figure you're a user. You're only full eyes. And then I look at pride. Now with pride, I'm standing like a lion. Not caring what you say. Crawl away now, you poison spider. Don't ever stand away. And then it's like a huge, massive dance song. Because I remember listening to like all the biggest dance songs the last like four or five years. So they're all talking about serious topics. So I wanted to like talk about like a, kind of make a fighter song, which with the music and everything complemented. So we're recording the music video next week, and that'll be a real, really um. Yeah. Are you writing out of your own experiences now? Because you're yeah. a bit older now. We yeah. aren't kids anymore. We're out of yeah. our experiences and just, just trying to write songs that, that because there's so many teenagers in the world who need inspiration and songs that will kind of get them through hard times and tough times so they can listen to that and, and, and go, go. We got go, a song um, called Leave a Mark in This World, and that's all about like, like um, we all want to be seen and heard. We all want to leave a mark in this world. And we got William Shatner. He's like agreed to do the music video because we met him last time we went to Los Angeles and we contacted his people and his assistant and he wants to make it work. So we're going to get him into the video and we're going to go to his office and fill him all his awards and he's going to be like at the beginning of the music video. 
Cool. So he's going to yeah. get his, he, he has a real wise voice. He's got a mm. good voice like you. Yeah. Thank you. But, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm glad you asked Captain Kirk first. I know. I, I would have asked Captain Kirk first. Yeah, no, because a lot of, Hollywood comes and goes, but he's always been here and he's always like... He's a, 84. Yeah. Wow, and, is and he? he's still going. Yeah. He's still going strong. That's what Crazy. me and John would be like when we're 84. Yeah, and he said he said that we got to always keep our look, and you'll be like him when we're eighty four. Do you have a long term plan? Do the two you sit down and think how, how long yeah. will Jedward exist for? Maybe you know forever, uh, forever. Because we no we, solo careers or side no, careers. No, no, because we know we always keep making it fresh. We don't come back with the same sound all the time. We always like, we're always changing it up the whole time for our fans and giving our fans something new. We're not just like oh we're all about this. We try to. But we don't just times. always talk about music. Like we loads of light stuff that happens to us. That's. I feel like we're on a different journey to everyone else. Other people kind of get given everything into their hands. We have to like, like make our own music videos. You have to do like the music. We we have to like do everything ourselves. A lot of people think that that me and John would be like manufactured or have people behind us who are making us big or out there, but we don't. We never have had that. We've never actually been launched. So a lot of kind of broke out of our on ourselves just by doing Eurovision. That was great. That but Mm. it was great that we had a look that kind of people latched onto and just do you know what I mean? So no, and it's been five years. Your manager, by the way. No, no. Also, like two years, but like we all. Did he like dump you? No, we. No, it was the other way it's around. It's like a mutual thing. It's just like he he, he was doing um, his thing. We we're doing our thing. We're okay. just, uh, do you get me? It kind of gets to a stage where it's not going anywhere. So you got to like move on and move on to b- other things because no. all your countries are co- more interested, like bigger, bigger, the b- whole bigger picture. It's than, like we don't want to just be in the UK and Ireland. Like we love when we go to Australia and Canada. It's kind of like a freedom. It's like we can redo and things. even writing our own songs, having the freedom just to kind of just kind of put yourself at the just just start from the bottom and work your way up, to even songwriting. Because stuff. the thing about it is that. Everyone's always talking about like new and upcoming artists, but it's all about like always seeing yourself as new and up and coming, just like always restarting yourself because then you get bored. You always mm. have to be kind of going, okay, I haven't done everything. Because we're brothers, we always kind of keep keep each other on track. And like everyone asks us, oh, what are you doing? Like, what else is there to do? Because we're always learning. Like, it's been five years since 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 we first were out there as Jedward. Like, so we always have been improving. As if we because in, the, college, in the beginning, we, it was more like, oh, Jedward, spiky hair. It was more. Um, it was more like everyone just wanted to know us as people, but I think now it's people want to get to know us more. And even though we're not in college, it's like every year we are, we're always learning no matter what we do, whether it's filming and directing, editing on computer, whatever it is, we've always been learning and teaching ourselves to do all these things that should, people should be doing. I know on the, ex- I know when we started, everyone was like, oh, um, okay, hey, say, who wants to talk? Yeah, what, 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 do you still live together? Yeah. Yeah, we, li- we, we haven't bought a house you, yet. Because you know what, it's, what struck me when you came in? I have met I know, you I before. I wear different clothes. No, but you look different to each other now. I know. Because I used to be able to tell no, you apart. What but happened? John and Edward, like, John, you're kind of, you've, are you, like, have you no, been working out happened? or something? No, no, no. You're looking I know, like I think you're... I'm just a bit, I think I'm a tiny bit, a few more pounds heavier than Edward. But the thing about it is, um, no, you're not, John. I think I am, like, about five, maybe. Okay, but anyway, okay. I went to um, the shop to get us food. I had to go get us chicken, smoothies to keep, just keep us alive. Because yeah. we had to wake so up super to, early this get, morning. I put a disguise on to go to the shop, and then I, I just literally had to come to this, so I literally threw on this jacket and I got this like we always keep it real I got this in um, like um, I got in a car boot sale that's a cool jacket yeah it's like it's leather it's a proper bike jacket. when you grow in a disguise what kind of a disguise do you wear I wear baggy a lot, right now I wear baggy baggy jeans I wear um, just just everyday normal clothes that don't stand out just kind of blend in right okay Yeah. and does that work yeah, it does work sometimes, but then you have people go, oh, that's him, that's him, and then they're all like, get, you get pictures of them and everything like that, but it's good. I went into a charity shop the other day and bought CDs, and Bono was in the same charity shop, so that's good that me and Bono... Was he buying CDs in there as well? Yeah, they took pictures with me, and they took pictures of Bono in was the that shop. completely accidental? You walked this into a like charity shop and Bono was it in was there. Out, it was out in, it was out, I don't know where, it was out beside Black Rock or something like that. I was just out that way, and I bought, I bought like a CD, I buy so many CDs, I have thousands of CDs. Mm. Yeah, but a charity shop out of Black Rock is like a normal shop. That's true, yeah. It's like a posh shop. Yeah. Still, yeah, it was. It was. Are great. you based in? Are you based in Dublin now or, or London? Yeah, I know. I will always have our base in Ireland because I, I feel like it's in like, Ireland. I like the realness. It keeps it real. Because I feel when you go to New York and Los Angeles, kind of lives around you yourself. Lost. And there's so much phasers and people want to hang out, and you're just like, oh, go away. Like, I feel like you, you go to LA and these places, you have to go there with a plan to do something because you could be there just bloody floating around like a f- cloud mm. doing nothing. So you have to have a plan. Yeah, but you're you're you're, you're uh, we're total business wise. We yeah. know what we're doing. You know what you're doing. You bought a house though. No, we haven't bought a house. You haven't yet. bought a house, but you were looking at. Don't, yeah, we were, at we were looking at a house here and there. Be careful, but it's all, it's all good. I'd rather just have 
money to do stuff and always keep being proactive and doing stuff than, than just sit in a house and go, look at me, I'm in a house, look at my swimming pool, I'm so great. I don't know, I don't really... That's yeah, really but I mean, mean, you have to think about the future. Yeah. Have you thought about a pension plan? Me now with our kids. Yeah. I've thought about the pension Many, plan. Actually, are either of you in a relationship? No. I don't know. I don't know. John? I, I don't have a girlfriend, okay? Yeah, John's got no girlfriend right now. Okay. No, I don't. I actually don't. Or, did you have a girlfriend? No. Okay. Why everyone everyone thinks I'm going out with Tara Everyone Reed. thinks I'm going out with people. Tara's like not. 38. Never work out. Right. All right, all right Edward, are you going out it with anyone? Be, it could be Catherine Zeta Jones. I was going out with Tara. Really, were you? Yeah. Yeah, he put that, he did, he did the air of inverted commas thing. It when was, was my, the last time, when was the last time somebody kissed you, Edward? Like two weeks ago. Um, about five days ago. Okay, yeah. that's not bad. I'm talking now a uh, snog now, yeah. not like a kiss in the cheek. Kissing a girl. I'm talking full on. Yeah. yeah. Girls, you wouldn't even know, like, me and I were like Titanic moments when it comes to kissing girls. It's not just like, oh, like... What are we talking about? I don't this know what we're talking about. I'm having this conversation. It's like serious. It's like we're having a conversation with mom like and dad. serious oh, yeah. business. Like, when you, well, you say experience... You saw the people out there working. They're all wearing suits. They're all yeah. wearing shirts and ties. I feel, me and Edda, we can do really, really serious stuff. Last night, I was drawing up contracts and getting contracts and everything set in stone for, like, different different projects and stuff like that. And, like, I feel like some people are too serious because they're doing serious That's stuff. True. So they think they have to be serious. Like, me and Edda, we have a good time. We t- we take things easy. Yeah. Yeah. Just because we're we easy do, going we do doesn't mean things. we don't know what we're doing. So all the people working these offices all across Dublin wear something that's not so the typical what everyone wears like you're wearing a pink shirt today that's yes I am yeah I did that special yeah so you're like different to everyone else here what does that mean a titanic moment when you when you kiss oh, them I don't, it's not, when I don't you know. sink them I think it's just it's like one of those moments where it's special Moncrief so how's your book writing going it's going fine thank you very much what's your latest novel uh, my, uh, I have one kind of a first draft of one finished, but then I'm, I'm working on another one. At the are same you developing time. any characters or anything? Or are we going to write the next Twilight or Harry Potter? No, be nice to do that. Yeah, because that's what get like on that. Me crash. and Jack be in the movie. Ooh, twin vampires. The last thing I did. By was- day they're a boy band. By night they suck your blood. <laughs> no, <laughs> but anyway, it's all good. Okay, it's, it's all, all good. It's all about the concept. It's all about the concept. It's all about the, last, the concept. The last song I wrote was called Pink Clouds and Sticks. It's you know, and every time I meet you, I kind of at some point I always it always goes through my mind: Are they are on drugs or am I on drugs? I'm no. not quite sure which I one it is. Don't even drink. <laughs> no, no, no one's on drugs. I feel like people, okay, all the people out there across Ireland, drugs are a joke. I've never done them. We never done them. But people say to me, "Are you on something?" I'm like, "No, I'm not on something. I just, I'm just, I'm just happy with who I am." And I go out there, and I feel if you go out there and just take it all in and be open minded, then every day is like you're on something, but you're actually not on something. So it's if you just true. open your mind and look around you take in the fresh air and realize life is life and you don't have to be so kind of shy and kind of down kind of hiding something yeah because a lot of people act the way they think they're meant to act and like they think they in certain experiences from watching too much fair city they think this is what they're meant to do and how they're meant to react you should just react the way you feel you're yeah. great kissers too i'm sure john and edward love you to see you again thanks for coming for coming to us check us out in castle bar on the 27th of october and the dlt drider on the 26th and we're playing guitar and everything on stage as well in the okay. Olympia, so will you be there will you be there in front row i'll be there front row going jump great. up and down in me pink shorts like we have to go commercial break thanks lads commercial break. Bye. have time for showers <laughs>